Bell Travelers. It's that time. Once again, it's time for this. It's time for the Psychedelic Test and right here on Cheer FM and on Radio Gordo. I'm your host, Randall Liver. I'm guiding us through two hours of psychedelic rock on your Saturday night. This night is like, uh, well, <laughs> many others, I suppose. Uh, we're keeping it consistent and definitely getting into some uh, pretty cool stuff, some uh, maybe familiar stuff, maybe a little bit uh, unfamiliar stuff, depending on how deep we've waded into these here psychedelic waters. I, I would have to say, too, that one of the things that I'm looking forward to actually doing tonight is uh, we're going to get into uh, an extended cut from Pink Floyd. Uh, I'm going to be seeing Pigs, that's right, uh, the West Coast uh, kind of premiere, uh, in my experience anyways, uh, Pink Floyd cover band. You'll see them at the Royal McPherson Theater in Victoria, B.C. Taking my kids to that show, they've been pestering me for a while now about that because they know there's a light show, they know there's smoke, uh, lasers, video screens, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to listen to a song uh, in anticipation of next week's show that I don't think that they're going to play. In fact, I'm, I'm willing to bet money on it, um, and I'd almost be right, all right with that uh, being wrong. It's one of my favorite Floyd tracks, but that's way on the far side. I guess if we're going to look at that as potentially being um, well, maybe a little bit of a progressive rock cut, we're going to start things off in a progressive rock vein tonight. The honors goes to Jethro Tull. This is the title cut from the album Minstrel in the Gallery, blown at wide open night. One of my favorite sort of mid-70s cuts from the Tull. Minstrel in the Gallery. My lord and lady, we have the tutors we happen upon these uh, strolling players who provide you with their goodly chickens to set about your... Uh, yeah, it's about a bit of hair. I can't see you down there, all right? I don't think they're going to so like this. my lord and lady, for your entertainment... The minstrel in the gallery Look down upon the smiling faces He met the gazes, observed the spaces Between the old men's cattle He brewed a song of love and hatred The bleak suggestions and he waited he polarized the pumpkin eaters Static honey, battle beaters Freshly they glowed factory cheaters Salary heat and collar scrubbing He titillated men of action Belly warming and still rubbing the parts they never mentioned He pacified the nappy suffering Infants bleating one-line jokers TV documentary makers Overfed and undertakers Sunday paper backgammon and he scars and women haters And he called the band down to the stage And he looked at all the friends he made
cut from Jethro Tull to start things off tonight. Minstrel in the gallery. I love the dynamic shifts of that song. The sort of um, pastoral, almost a sort of a medieval, I suppose, a introduction and then into the full on rocking power of the band. And then it kind of just settles into, I mean, for progressive rock, a bit of a groove. Pretty cool outing, I definitely got to say. And next up on the Psychedelic Test, we're going to slide into a sound that's going to dominate the next few sets. Uh, it's, we'll get to the reason why in a couple of sets, but uh, this is a pairing right here. Uh, Bob Dylan on the far side, Stephen Stills uh, first up, and uh, from Stephen Stills, oh, let's do this one. It's a, it's a great cut. Let's do it. Love the one you're with. <laughs> If you're down and confused And you don't remember who you're talking to Concentration, slip away Because your baby is so far away Well, there's a road in a distance 
Don't be angry Don't be sad But don't sit crying Over good times ahead There's a girl Right next to you And she's just waiting For something to do And there's a rose In the twisted love So quiet We sit here stranded But we're all doing our best to deny it And Louise holds a handful of rain Tempting you to defy it Lights flicker from the opposite love In this room the heat pipes just cough The country music station plays soft But there's nothing, really nothing to turn off Just Louise and her lover so entwined And these visions of Johanna That conquer my mind In the empty lot where the ladies play Blind man's bluff with the keychain And the all night girl The whisper of escapades out on the D train. We can hear the night watchman click his flashlight, ask himself if it's him or them that's insane. Louise, she's all right, she's just near. She's delicate and seems like the mirror. But she just makes it all too concise and too clear That Johanna's not here The ghost of electricity Howls in the bones of her face Where these visions of Johanna Have not taken my place
Yeah, yeah, our little boy lost He takes himself so seriously He breaks of his misery He likes to live dangerously And when bringing her name up He speaks of a farewell kiss to me He sure got a lot of gall To be so useless and all Muttering small talk at the wall While I'm in the hall Oh, how can I explain It's so hard to get on And these visions of Johanna They'd kept me up past the dawn Inside the museum Infinity goes up on trial Voices echo this is what Salvation must be like after a while But Mona Lisa must have had the highway blues You can tell by the way she smiles Primitive wall flower freeze When the jelly faced women all sneeze Hear the one with the mustache say Jeez, I can't find my knees Oh, jewels and binoculars Hang from the head of the mule But these visions of Johanna They make it all seem so cruel The peddler now speaks To the countess who's pretending to care for him Need me someone that's not a parasite And I'll go out and say a prayer for him But like Louise always says You can't look at much, can you, man As she herself prepares for him And Madonna, she still has not showed We see this empty cage now corrode Where her cape of the stage once it flowed The fiddler he now steps to the road He writes everything's been returned which was old On the back of the fish truck that loads While my conscience explodes oh, The skeleton keys and the ray And these visions of Johanna Are now all that remain From Bob Dylan's 1966 double LP masterpiece, Blonde on Blonde, that was Visions of Johanna, one of my favorite Dylan cuts. I, he said many years ago, and I've said many times on this show, how one of the sounds that he was chasing while producing that album was a thin, wild, mercury sound to the guitars. Really 
thin and wiry and i think that uh, between himself and the musicians that he gathered around him to uh, head into the studio they managed to nail that down pretty solidly i mean for my money that run of three albums in particular from uh Bring It All Back Home, Highway 61 Revisited, and Blonde on Blonde. I think we're looking at, what, 18 to 20 months or so between the releasing of those LPs. And such a high watermark in not only rock music, but his career. And, I mean, that's a long and storied career. I, and one thing I will say, um, a longtime listener, Joyce, um, from this show, was recently selling some of her stuff, and I managed to get some of it, and I mention that because one of the books that I picked up from her is a collection where it's um, a little write-up on the story behind every Bob Dylan song from 1962 to 1969, so you can be certain... <laughs> <laughs> some of that information is going to be popping up at some point later on in this show. It might even be one of those things to inspire a full-on Dylan show one of these days. Maybe. Today is not that day, because next up we have a cut from the Turtles. Uh, we're going to check out Happy Together. I've been listening to the Mothers of Invention live uh, June 1971 at the Fillmore album, and of course that one slips in there. Great cover that they do on that one. I want to listen to the original one from the Turtles tonight. Uh, but before we get to that one, let's do this one from Harry Nilsson. This is one right here on the Psychedelic Test and on Cheer FM and Radio Gordo. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do Two can be as bad as one It's the loneliest number since the number one No is the saddest experience you'll ever know Yes, it's the saddest experience you'll ever know Because one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do One is the loneliest number that you'll ever know It's just no good since you went away Now I spend my time Just making rhymes Of yesterday Because one is the loneliest number That you'll ever do One is the loneliest number That you'll ever know is the loneliest number one is the loneliest number one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do one is the loneliest number much much worse than two one is a number divided by two Imagine how the world could be so very fine, 
so happy together. Toss the dice. It had to be the only one for me is you and you for me. So happy together. The dice it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. The dice it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. So happy together. And how is the weather? So happy together. We're happy together. So happy.
Beach Boys, Cabin Essence, one of the songs recorded during the ill-fated Smile Sessions, uh, sort of some variations of the songs came out in uh, 1967 on Smiley Smile. Uh, we often find that paired with the 1968's Wild Honey when you look for them on CDs. I, some of that stuff pretty far out. I mean, the Beach Boys were never at the forefront of the psychedelic scene, although they got so deeply psychedelic for a brief period of time that it actually drove Brian Wilson to, um, well, a uh, pretty severe mental distress uh, to the point that uh, he had a sandbox built in his studio so he could play um, was consuming so much LSD that he thought uh, one of the songs that they were working on created a fire um, just uh, down the block things like that I mean, he, he was a little <laughs> not well but uh, such a creative individual um, especially during that period of time the turtles happy together before that Nilsson before that with one uh, next up in the show fellow travelers uh, the reason why we're getting into this sort of a feel uh, kind of a folk rock folk psychedelic feel I recently rewatched the film searching for sure man a great documentary about uh, musician Sisto Rodriguez released a couple of fantastic albums in the very early 70s really this is a guy who with the right push behind him by the record companies and things like that I, I would say that he was poised to very aptly and ably take over the crown of uh, Dylan's from that sort of mid 60s period that we heard from earlier the wordplay and the songwriting just fantastic uh, with this guy uh, we're gonna do a four song set uh, it was hard to do it justice um, you know maybe not enough to go into a full-on show like I said I mean the guy really only released a couple albums third album in the late 70s but really it's the first two that people tend to focus on and for good reason i uh, we have a song crucify your mind standing by but uh, of course this is the, his calling card we're gonna get into it right now this is sugar man sugar man won't you hurry Cause I'm tired of these scenes For a blue coin Won't you bring back All those colors to my dreams Silver magic ships you carry Jumpers coke, sweet Mary Jane Sugar man a false friend on a lonely dusty road lost my heart when I found it it had turned to dead black coal silver magic ships you carry jumpers coke sweet Mary Jane Sugar man, you're the answer that makes my questions disappear. Sugar man, cause I'm weary of those double games I hear. Sugar man, sugar man, sugar man. Sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar you hurry cause I'm tired of these scenes for the blue coin won't you bring back all those colors to my dreams silver magic ships you carry jumpers coke sweet Mary Jane 
Sugar man met a false friend on a lonely, dusty road. Lost my heart when I found it. It had turned to dead black coal. Silver magic ships you carry. John A huntsman or a player that made you pay the cost that now assumes relaxed positions and prostitutes your loss. Were you tortured by your own thirst in those pleasures that you seek that made you Tom the curious that makes you James the weak? And you claim you got something going, something you call unique. But I've seen yourself pretty showing as the tears roll down your cheeks. Soon you know I'll leave ya, and I'll never look behind. 'Cause I was born for the purpose that crucifies your mind. So con convince your mirror, as you've always done before, giving substance to shadows, giving substance evermore. And you assume you got something to offer, secret shiny in you. But how much of you is repetition that you didn't whisper to him too? Cause I lost my job two weeks before Christmas. And I talked to Jesus at the sewer. And the Pope said it was none of his goddamn business. While the rain drank champagne. My Estonian archangel came and got me wasted. Cause the sweetest kiss I ever got is the one I've never tasted. Oh, but they'll take their bonus pay. To Molly McDonald, neon lady, beauty's that which obeys is bought or borrowed.
Cause my heart's become a crooked hotel Full of rumors But it's I who pays the rent For these fingered face out the tuners And I make 16 solid half-hour friendships Every evening Cause your queen of hearts who's half a stone and likes to laugh alone Is always threatening you with leaving Oh, but they'll play those token games on Willie Thompson and give a medal to replace the sun of Mrs. Annie Johnson Cause they told me everybody's got to pay their dues And I explained that I had overpaid them So overdue I went to the company store And the clerk there said that they had just been invaded So I set sail in a teardrop and escape beneath the door sill Cause the smell of her perfume Echoes in my head still Cause I see my people trying to drown the sun In weekends of whiskey sours Cause how many times can you wake up in this comic book And plant flowers the dirty inner city side of the road I plotted Madness passed me by She smiled high I nodded Looked up past the sky Began to cry She shot it Met a girl from Dearborn Early six o'clock this morning Colfax Asked about the bag, suburbia's such a drag, won't go back Cause Papa don't allow no new ideas here And now he sees the news, but the picture's not too clear Mama, Papa, stop, treasure what you got Soon you may be caught without it The curfew set for rain Will it ever all be straight? I doubt it He 
Seven jealous fools playing by her rules Can't believe her He feels so in between Can't break the scene It would grieve her And that's the reason why he must cry He'll never leave her Crooked children, yellow chalk Riding on a concrete wall Their king died Drinking from a Judas cup Looking down but seeing up Sweet red wine Cause Papa don't allow No new ideas here And now you hear the music But the words don't sound too clear Mama, Papa, stop Treasure what you got Soon you may be caught without it The curve you set for eight Will it ever all be straight? I doubt it Going down the dusty Georgia And the side of the road I wonder The wind splash in my face Can smell a trace of thunder Inner City Blues from Sister Rodriguez, closing up that four-song set from Rodriguez. Before that, Cuz, Crucify Your Mind, and Sugar Man. Uh, Cuz, featuring a really interesting uh, bit of uh, lyrics at the beginning of the song, um, Cuz I Lost My Job Two Weeks Before Christmas. Rodriguez was dropped from his record label after his second album failed to really perform two weeks before Christmas so a uh, really kind of spooky eerie little bit of premonition there I mean the, the guy he, he's lived a rich life uh, you know had a fulfilling career um, in all things of like demo and re- renovation <laughs> so not not the musical aspect of things but to have his career revived around 2013 with the uh, searching for sugar man uh, and it really weird that it was like South Africa that really held the torch for him uh, bootleg recordings of his albums just kept it alive they thought he was a superstar and it was really surprising to find out that he wasn't so um, you know really long uh, story career for the guy i'm glad i know his music and uh, hopefully some of you out there feel the same next up in the show i uh, got the birds john riley standing by uh, one of my favorite outings from them before we get into that one i want to listen to some simon and garfunkel so we're going to run with uh, one of their more well-known songs i would like to think coming up here on uh, the psychedelic test on cheer fm and radio gordo simon and garfunkel the sound of silence hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence Restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes were stabbed By the flash of a neon light Split the night And touch the sound And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs That voices never share No one did the sound of silence Fool said I, you do not know 
silence like a cancer grows Hear my words that I might teach you Take my arms that I might reach you But my words like silent raindrops fell Sign flashed out its warning In the words that it was forming And the sign said the words of the prophets Are written on the subway walls Tenement halls Whispering sounds of silence Sit around all day just crying happy tears To dance and sing my life away Life away, laughing with you My darling, softly to me Oh, 
Orange sugar chocolate, hot cinnamon and lovely things in you And darling you know there was really nothing else that I could do But dance and sing my life away, and loving with you My darling softly to me And my darling you will never know how elegant you'll always be to me And my darling, I was so in love, it's evident for anyone to see And I suppose they probably already do And how come so suddenly everything depends on you To dance and sing my life away and laughing with you My darling, softly to me And if I kissed you once, I'd probably do it again But then that's not so inconceivable, my friend To dance and sing my life away And laughing with you My darling, softly to me usually go for the more lushly orchestrated Forever Changes album, but we went back to Love's self-titled debut for that one, Softly to Me, which followed up The Birds, John Riley, and Simon and Garfunkel's The Sound of Silence, which opened up that set. Uh, let's keep that kind of a vibe, sort of mid-60s, uh, early psychedelic rock, with still that folk rock tinge going on. Uh, going to the first Big Brother and the Holding Company song for Blind Man, but before we get into that one, we're going to go to the first Jefferson Airplane album for this this is come up the years Blind man stood on the way and cried. Blind man 
Southern Californian songs. We had to go for uh, one out of the UK with that. Uh, the animals being represented with a baby. Let me take you home. They followed up Big Brother the Holding Company, Blind Man, off of their first album. An album that's really kind of easy to overlook. I mean, Cheap Thrills, such a fantastic album that, uh, yeah, I have to almost force myself to listen to the other stuff every once in a while. Jefferson Airplane from 1966's debut takes off that was come up the years this is the psychedelic testing on cheer fm and radio gordo i'm your host randall liberon uh, we're now going to sort of slide into uh, a little bit more heavy guitar oriented stuff i got a pair of songs here it's almost going to get progressively more rocking james gang 
<laughs> yeah, Joe Walsh on the far side. But we're going to do something from 10 years after to get the set going. I, I dig this one. This is 50,000 miles beneath my brain.
know, once you're part of the Eagles, I think it's pretty hard to not be associated with that if you're a musician. Joe Walsh is uh, <laughs> the prime example of that. But the work that he did with James Gang before joining the Eagles, uh, some great stuff, really rocking band. And uh, as you heard on uh, the Bomber, it really worked in some sort of weird, spacey kind of elements uh, suitable for the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, really, I, I've been finding that I've been going back and listening to more of the James Gang and, and feeling very rewarded in doing so. Uh, next up on the show, yeah, let, let's do this. Um, I want to do something from Led Zeppelin, and I want to do something live. And you know what? I wanted to listen to this one. This one is a John Paul Jones uh, directed track. Uh, one of the great songs that sort of seems to, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me, but it seems that you know the usual rockers are the ones that people remember more. But then you bring up something like No Quarter. And it almost feels like you're uh, part of a different club of Zeppelin fans. Uh, you know, you have to. This is one of those ones where, yeah, you almost feel like you're digging deeper. It's not a whole lot of love. It's not heartbreaker. It's not communication breakdown. This one feels like it, it, it. It's rewarding in a different way. So from the song remains the same double live LP. This is no quarter. This is called no quarter.
them side by side with them. The devil knocks them every step. The snow drives back the foot that's slow. The dogs of doom are howling bumble. the conclusion of Led Zeppelin's live outing of No Quarter, we now find ourselves at the final song of the night, and if we all take a glance at our clocks, either on the wall, on, uh, well, I was going to say VCR player, but <laughs> who really has that anymore? Even I don't, and I have quite a collection of uh, arcane technology. Um, I, I need a VCR player because I do have a big collection of VHS tapes, but uh, be that as it may, uh, you probably got to look at your phone or something like that in order to see the time and see that we have a heck of a lot of show left. And it is time for us to delve into some Pink Floyd, going all the way back to 1971's release, Metal. We're going to get into the track that makes up all of Side 2. Echoes is one of those songs that it's... It's such an epitome of Pink Floyd's sound, even though they very quickly moved past this with you know, slightly more structured outings. Uh, I mean, you know, even what they do on Wish You Were Here, you know, they're a little more structured, but it's the movement through very distinct parts and just featuring one of my favorite bass groove jams. I love the live version that they did at Pompeii, but this album cut, well, it really does it for me. It's wrapping up the show tonight, so let's get into it. This is Echoes on the Psychedelic Test and on Cheer FM and Radio Gordo. Thank you. 
No one tries, no 
That is it, fellow travelers. We made it through to the other side of another edition of the Psychedelic Test. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in and taking the time to lend your ears to this psychedelic programming, which is uh, also taking place right here on Cheer FM and Radio Gordo. And uh, you know what? Next time you want a psychedelic time, we'll meet up here on a Saturday night. And until then, you all be cool to one another. And we'll catch you later. Peace.